Do you ever wonder how to create AI-generated images that truly stand out from the crowd? The secret is in the art styles. Unleash your inner artist with artistic styles. In this video, I'll explore 20 fascinating art styles. Yes, there are more art styles to play with. I've included some traditional and modern styles and some that are truly bizarre. You can use this artistic vocabulary to create stunning AI-generated images. So buckle up, let's get creative. These art styles work best in mid-journey, but you can try them out in other AI image generators. Leonardo AI does a pretty good job with them. Let's start with some traditional art styles. Art Deco is a popular architectural style from the early 20th century. It combines bold geometric shapes, vibrant colors, and sleek lines. Accents are often metallic with an elegant, eye-catching design that remind us of luxury and glamour. The Art Deco style can add a touch of sophistication to your designs. If you like the detail of Art Deco, but the lines are too harsh, try Arabesque. This style features intricate, interlacing patterns and flowing lines. Arabesque patterns give your designs an exotic and mesmerizing feel, and will add a sense of harmony and balance to your creations. Arabesque is also a classical ballet position, so the AI may also give you a dancer. Prompt for no people, dancers, and the AI should avoid this. Enamel is a glossy, smooth surface texture created using glass powder and metal. The surface is often vibrantly colored with a sense of depth and texture. Enamel is a surface often used in jewelry and ornate boxes. Etching is a traditional printmaking technique that creates images by scratching fine lines into a metal plate. This adds an old-world charm to your designs with detailed textures and creates depth and character in your images. If you like the look of simulated drawing, try prompting for hatching or cross-hatching. Hatching is a common artistic shading effect that uses closely spaced parallel lines to create shading and texture. The lines vary in length, spacing, and density to represent different levels of shadow and light in a drawing. The only problem is that the word hatching is so strongly attached to chickens and eggs. It'll help if you prompt for no egg, chicken, or pencil. And one last drawing effect, calligraphy. Calligraphy is the art of beautiful handwriting. Calligraphy adds a touch of elegance and refinement. And while the AI is particularly bad right now at creating correctly spelled words, it can give you the effect of artful writing. Calligraphy adds artistic flourish to your designs. You may get drawings with pencils and hands, so prompt for no pencil, pen, book, hand. Now let's move on to some more abstract and expressive art styles for your AI-generated images. Vector art is a popular digital art style that creates clean, crisp graphic designs. Vector art uses mathematical equations to create designs full of sleek, modern, geometric shapes. Actually, the AI isn't creating vector art. It's just creating images that look like typical vector art. In the same vein, prompting for vexel art can create stunning visuals with crisp lines and vivid colors. The images are full of geometric shapes and sharp, pixelated edges. The images are often brightly colored and high contrast. Vexel art is popular in video games, web design, and mobile apps, and creates unique and eye-catching images. The AI doesn't actually make Vexel art, but images that are in the style of Vexel art. Cubist art, or cubism, breaks down subjects into modernist, geometric shapes, often in strong contrasting colors. The subjects are distorted by the lines and facets. Cubism is strongly associated with artists like Picasso. Prompting for art in the style of Picasso will get you a similar effect. Surrealism is a 20th century artistic movement that explored the workings of the subconscious mind through dreamlike imagery, illogical juxtapositions, and subconscious exploration to challenge conventional perceptions of reality. The images are often fantastical and thought-provoking, sometimes with a bizarre twist. This art is strongly associated with artists like Dolly. No, not that Dolly. Pop art is a style of drawing popular in the 1950s and 60s. With pop culture themes, pop art has a vibrant, retro vibe. The images are highly colorful, almost comic or cartoonish. The AI tends to reference famous pop art pieces, including toned color blocks of Marilyn Monroe. The style is strongly associated with Andy Warhol. If you like surrealism and you like pop art, you're gonna love pop surrealism. Pop surrealism, or lowbrow art, combines pop culture with surreal, fantastical imagery. 
The images often have some humor, satire, or social commentary. Images may feature fantastical creatures or dreamlike landscapes. We've covered some more mainstream art styles, but now we're going to get really creative with some styles and materials. Rorschach ink blots are abstract art created by pressing ink between folds of paper. This creates symmetrical mirrored images. Real ink blots are ambiguous, but AI may add recognizable subjects to the ink blots. Often they're dark in character, highlighted by drips and splashes. AI ink blots may not have the abstract forms of the real ink blots and may be colorful. Now for a new texture you can try, bubble wrap. Bubble wrap art incorporates the unique texture and pattern of bubble wrap, usually with an element of whimsy. The AI picks up on the light, white, or transparent quality of the bubble wrap and adds a graphic quality to the pattern. Glassmorphism is a digital design trend featuring semi-transparent or frosted glass-like elements. This style typically incorporates vivid colors, light effects such as reflections or glows, and layered elements that create a sense of depth and three-dimensionality. Using the term gives your AI-generated images a modern, sleek aesthetic. If you want to have a little fun, think claymation. Claymation is an animation technique that uses clay models to create stop-motion sequences. When prompting for claymation, you'll get clay-like textures with handcrafted 3D appearance. Kaleidoscopic art features colorful, intricate, symmetrical patterns that resemble the view through a kaleidoscope. The patterns can be geometric, floral, or abstract, and they often have a 3D quality. Create mesmerizing AI-generated images by incorporating these vibrant geometric patterns into your designs. If you like color in kaleidoscopic art, you may also like the colors in tie-dye. The patterns of vibrant color in tie-dye are random and abstract, rather than repetitive. The psychedelic patterns evoke the spirit of the 1960s and 70s. Because tie-dye is associated with clothing, the AI may give you shirts or other textiles. Try prompting for no cloth shirt textile. Abru is a Turkish marbling technique. Colors float in water. When the pigments dry, the fluid designs transfer to the paper or fabric. Prompting for Abru will give you highly colorful fluid forms, sometimes splashes, but often abstract patterns. It's as if paints of different colors were swirled together. And finally, for one of my favorites. I doodle like this all the time and didn't even know there was a term for it. It's called Zentangle. It's a meditative drawing technique of intricate, repetitive patterns. Prompt for Zentangle and you'll get intricate black and white drawings perfect for coloring sheets. Or you can prompt for a colored Zentangle. Be creative and mix the artistic styles and add them to your favorite prompts to see what happens. This is where your imagination can shine. AI lets you mix artistic styles in crazy ways. Let us know how the AI interprets your favorite artistic styles in the comments below. And let me know if there are other styles you'd like to see featured. If this video was helpful, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. This is Jen at Making the Photo. Let's make something amazing together.